Hello, my name is Dr. Ignacio Ampiti. I'm a professor at the Department of Agronomy at Kansas State University. Today I would like to just to discuss very briefly about a research update on our soybean project that funded by Kansas Soybean Commission. Our project lasted uh, three years and basically we focus on looking at what are the best practices and management that we can do to increase soybean yields. One of the main focus on this research was specifically targeting the seed filling period. So let me tell you a little bit what is the seed filling. On soybeans, most of the yield comes from seed number, as many other crops as we discussed on maize, on sorghum. But in the case of soybeans, the seed filling and the seed size is a very important factor for improving yields for the crop. In many situations, if you think about the importance of the seed size and the contribution to yield, we know that in many cases it could be around between 30 to 40 percent of the total yield will come from the definition of the seed size. When you start thinking about the importance of this yield component, then one of the main questions is when is the moment that this yield component is being defined? This yield component is usually being defined towards the end of the season. Usually seed filling on soybeans, depending on the growing conditions, planting dates and environments, could last between 30 to 40 or 45 days total. And usually it's been placed around late August, September, towards the end of the season, when usually what happens is temperature, radiation, and in many situations, the most favorable conditions are decreasing. So what are the best factors or factors that they help to increase the seed size? Well, having good temperatures during the end of the season and fall time are basically excellent for increasing that productivity of the crop and maximizing the carbon fixation and potential for increasing seed size. The other factors are connected to the cloudy days, or we can look at this and other way of the sunshine conditions. If we have gray days with less clouds and sunshine, that will be another relevant factor for those plants to maintain the greenness and really increase that carbon fixation capacity of the crop. Though if you think about this time, one of the most important factors or questions that farmers have is what would be the impact if we have a not good uh, growing season towards the end, or if we have conditions like stress, heat, drought, or any other st stress conditions like even hailstorm affecting the crop. So this research was able to quantify changes and how much this impact of management was in helping us to increase yields. To give us some idea, cutting the season, the growing season in five or seven days, so if you think about, doesn't seem too relevant, just cutting the growing season in a week, it can produce impacts that can go from five to 10 bushels, depending on the final yields for that soybean growing season. So it's quite relevant, the importance of this seed filling and then one of our focus was looking at different practices connected to uh, inoculation strategies, uh, fertility management, and also looking at fungicide, insecticide, looking at how we can give a complete health to that soybean canopy at the end of the season. Most of our research point out that in many situations, we are only seeing an impact any time that we can increase the ability of the plant to produce more seeds. So if we are lacking on some nutrient, or in some levels of deficiency, any time that we apply a nutrient was helping us to increase seed numbers and pod numbers. And then via this information, we were able to increase seed size, or at least in many situations, which is the most important, maintain that seed size very constant. Again, this is the last year of the project. So we finished a final three year study and then these outcomes of the studies in related to inoculation activity or f fertilization activity will be guiding us to take a look to what are the impact not only on yields but also we are trying to quantify at this point all the impact that we have on these practices on the quality side and I'm, for many farmers and today quality is becoming a key factor although we are not capturing yet the value on the industry side, we hope that by diversifying our systems, by looking at how soybeans are increasing quality and showing the, that impact on quality, we'll be able to start moving that quality movement forward 
and making sure that farmers get revenue to really focus on improving that quality of the final product. So this is just a little bit of our research. We appreciate, again, the support from Kansas Soybean Commission, uh, supporting farmers across the state and also supporting our research that is quite relevant to really understand the potential impacts of management and things that they can do to improve yield productivity and overall sustainability of these soybean systems across the state. Mm -hmm.